And what is up, my magic miscreants? Risen Dragon here. I'm back. It's been a while. Let me explain what's been going on. In middle of July, I was kind of like, eh, you know what? Many of these cards that I'm doing videos on are rotating out. I just kind of lost my lost my passion for doing content creation. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wait till Dominaria kind of you know, drops before I start doing anything else along that regard. So Dominaria United has dropped, and here we are. We're doing our first video in over a month and a half in regard to magic content, and man, what a deck it is. All right, so let's get into it. It's mono black. Now, for those of you that, that follow my channel, I do a mono black build maybe two or three times per cycle. I love mono black. There's something about playing mono colors that's just really, like, throws me back. To, uh, to when I first started playing, where I kind of just stuck to one color. And uh, there's an appeal to it, and I really do think that the, that it is a viable uh, option. But this particular build, it, I don't know if it falls into, like, aggro or mid-range or control. There's a little bit of everything, I think, in this deck. There's a lot of synergy, and that's kind of my big thing when it comes to building decks. It's got to have synergy, it's got to have flexibility, and it's certainly got all these things. So let's get into it. Where you take it step by step duress, basically we peek really early on at our opponent's hand. They we choose a non-creature non-land card and they discard it. Evolved Sleeper. This is basically the black ascendant spirit from Kaldheim, which was of course a blue color. Uh, this one basically comes into play. It's a one drop. Comes into play. We tap a black, it becomes a human cleric with base power and toughness 2-2. Two, two. Uh, the next step is if it is a cleric, then we put a uh, then uh, we can tap a black in any other mana, and it becomes a 3-3 three, three Phyrexian Human Cleric. And then from there on out, if it's a Phyrexian, then we tap two black in any other, and we put a plus one, plus one counter on it. We draw a card, and then we lose one life. This can come into play, because we do have some life gain in this build. Okay, March of Wretched Sorrow, really cool. Deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker. You gain X life. Infernal Grasp, we are... Uh, destroying creatures and losing life. You lose two life there. Uh, tenacious Underdog. Uh, basically, it's a 3 2 for 2, and uh, we can use its Blitz cost. That draws us cards. Raven Man. Whenever we discard a card at the end of each end step, beginning of the end of each end step. Sorry, my bad. At the beginning of each end step, if a player discarded a card this turn, a player doesn't have to be an opponent, can be a player. Create a 1-1 Blackbird creature token with flying, and this creature can't block. We can also force people to discard a card, activate it only as a sorcery. If we uh, a black and three others tap it, activate only as a sorcery. Meat Hook Massacre. Uh, <laughs> this one doesn't really need. This is a beast in this deck. We're only running two copies of it, but uh, whenever a creature, you know, basically it comes into play, each creature gets minus X, minus X till end of turn. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Whenever a, an, a creature an opponent controls dies, you gain one life. We are running two copies of Braids. So, again, it feeds into the meat hook. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice an artifact, creature, enchantment, and or planeswalker. If you do, a land as well. If you do, each opponent may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with it for each opponent who doesn't, that player loses two life and you draw a card. Big one coming in here. Liliana of the Veil, my favorite iteration of her. Her plus one, each player discards a card. Minus two, player sacrifices a creature. Her ultimate for six is separate all permanents, target player controls into two piles, and then that player sacrifices all permanents in the pile of their choice. Now we're also running four copies of Mirror Box. We are running uh, one, we're running... 11 uh, legendary creatures. The legend rule does not apply. So we can have multiples on this, okay? But also, each non-token creature you control gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control with the same name as that creature. So Mirror Box is beast in this deck. And finally, we get to Shaeldred, okay? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Whenever you draw a card, you gain two life. Whenever an opponent draws a card, they lose two life. So incredibly great card. Four, five, death touch. Amazing stuff. We're running two Takanumas. This can bring stuff back to our hand. We're running a few of the fetch lands just so we can gain life and gain swamps if we're, if we're, 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 we're mana starved. Uh, we're also running some, some Field of Destruction because who doesn't like uh, land destruction in a mono black deck? Sideboard. 
Uh, we're running our extra copy of Infernal Grasp, running four copies of Hero's Downfall. Oop. Meat Hook Massacre, we're running two copies of that. We're running four copies of Return to Action in case we're up against some uh, destruction stuff, and also Debt to the Kami, which uh, exiles creatures and enchantments. Nice little techie card there. So uh, it's been a while. But we're going to get into the games. For those of you that have never watched uh, my channel before, we do a best of one and we do a best of three. We're one of the few uh, streamers on YouTube that does best of three uh, Magic Arena. Uh, but we do a best of one and a best of three just so you can see how it performs in both environments. So finally, my Magic Miscreants, without further ado, let's get to the games. We are against Target Zero, or T4 Target Zero. We are down to... Uh, we are down into bronze. We didn't play a ton of, um, yeah, as much as I don't want to, I'm shipping Shaeldred. Uh, we didn't play as much, uh, ranked as we did, uh, as we're used to. We're going to take a peek at their hand here. What are we playing? Ooh, Wandering Emperor. You can go bye-bye. They do have a Voice of the Blessed, though. That's, that could be an issue, but I'm going to say Wandering Emperor. You go bye-bye. And they are going to come down with Voice of the Blessed. I'm okay with that. We're going to get rid of this. Um, as much as I want to put the Evolved Sleeper, we cannot... Um, we can't let that get bigger. We cannot let that get bigger. So, there's that. Yeah, so we're, we're down to Bronze. Uh, just simply because I didn't play a lot of Ranked in the towards the end of the last cycle. So... Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. So what does Target Zero decide they want to do next? Alright, so we're going to go with that. Alright, cool. March of Wretched Sorrow. Always fun. We can do that. And, uh, again, this is instant speed, so we can kind of zap anything so long as it's, like, less than two power. Um, let's destroy this. So they're playing clerics, I think. So we're going to destroy that. And then we're going to... There we go. What is that? Secluded courtyard. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just put down that. All right, fun. Ooh, braids. How fun are you? Uh, and they can't target that with the cut down. So there we go. Mm, but they can use it for infernal grasp. We can do Infernal Grasp. Or some other removal. I'm not going to sacrifice anything at this moment. Not going to sack anything at the moment. They, on the other hand, are probably going to try to. Yeah, Faithful Absence. Okay. That's fine, because I can investigate. I can get some draw out of that. I'm okay with that. Are they really going to... I was going to say, they can do that. Alright, so... I think what we do here is we, we draw a card. Ah, mirror box. fun is that? Alright, boom. So, they're probably wondering, hey, what is going on here? Doesn't target. Oh, they have Shieldred. We have a Shieldred too. So here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna do five. Discard that. Boom. Gain a bunch of life. I'm fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. Okay, so they're playing a, a cleric's build. That's I, I can respect that. Joink. Or not joink. Hmm. Also, with the uh, with the mirror box, this actually gets a little bit bigger. So, how fun is that? Twisted embrace. 
Wow, okay. Well, there we go. Yikes. Okay, well, that's fine. So here we go. Let's do some sleeper stuff. So let's pump these up. Boom. So this actually uh, defeats the uh, uh, the cutdown. And it can take out the... Uh, yeah, cause, yeah. well, and it can take out... Well, if they get another land, then they're dead anyways, but... That is a very twisted card. Hence its name. Now, if they do the, uh, if they do the, 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 oh, okay, well, there's that. All right, so that's going to gain us, gain them some more. Okay. That's okay. Okay, well, not so much anymore, but that's all right. Think, think of something there. You can probably just... What do you possibly have? Interesting. This is a fun deck. Huh? Hmm. Okay. So it can't block. Alright, so we lose. That's very interesting. Alright. Now, whatever works. Uh, so here's what we do we do this. Just evolve it. They've got the cut down. Oh, they could have just. done something like that. Alright, well, those now have death touch, and if they want to swing in. I mean, they could easily meat hook us all right here. And he could easily meat hook us. And then he can do the cut down on the evolved sleeper. Or they could. So, huh. Well, let's see what they do. They do nothing. Okay. So they're just going to drain me, it looks like. Alright, so duress is always fun. So I think what we do is we take get rid of the meat hook. And then this. Do that. Boom. Cool. And boom. Cool. Let's swing, man. If they're not gonna... If this can't block, then we just kind of go from there. They can take us both out. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna lie, that's... They let us have it. All right, fun. So now we're gonna come in with, uh, and they'll just. Oh, okay. So he's just swinging with that. All right. Clerics is gonna be kind of beast, I think, in this particular build. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of play with fire here. Even more than that. All right, nice, cool, nice. Boom. All right, so let's do this. Raven Man. Delicious Underdog. They'll probably target the Raven Man with the cut down, or maybe the Underdog, I don't know. Maybe not. So this is a pretty beefy board we've got here. And they're going to have to figure out what to do with this at this point. Okay, so they 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 do that. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fine. They're going to uh block with the Okay, great. So we will uh, go from there. Oh, Toxril, how fun are you? How fun are you? Yikes. Okay, well, that is clever. Keep 
playing with fire here. We gotta find some room. Maybe not. You know what? Let's swing. Because if they block, um. Okay. It works. And we just kind of block the Raven Man, I guess. Okay, cool. So that'll die. And the slug comes in. <laughs> Never thought those words would be put together. What? Yeah, okay. Interesting. So, alright, fine. And we do have enough to sweep the board on the next one, so... Okay, it's fine. Ready? Here we go. Meat hook for seven. Meat hook for seven! There's that. <laughs> All right, Shadow Right Priest. Okay, there we go. All right, fun stuff. So basically, we throw down our Tenacious Underdog, and uh, we win. So, yeah. That's how this deck works. I don't even have to attack with this. Or do I? Creature control. Yeah. No, I don't even have to attack with this. Uh, okay, on to the best of three. We are against Texas 365. I like Texas. Used to visit my in-laws down there all the time. Okay, well, this is an easy one. We just get rid of one of the Takanumas. Uh, and just ship that off. Play down a Maestro's Theater just to throw them off a little bit. Throw them off. EM, not EM. Uh, yeah, so there we go. And we just put down a Takanuma there. Oh, Mech Hanger. Oh, Hot Shot Mechanic. How fun are you? Alright, well, we just do this. I think what we do is we just do March of Wretched Sorrow. Not gonna do that. Oh. That's fine. I think we do Raven Man and then Duress. Ooh, are they mana, are they mana shorted? Duress, what do you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Yeah, let's get rid of that. They don't draw land, they're in trouble. Yep. <laughs> Alright, they got mana shorted there, so... Uh, could you get a bonus best of three here? Maybe? Ah, oh no, no, the... That to the Kami does not do anything in regard to artifacts, so that would not help there. That would not have helped there at all. So anyways, yeah. Took a little bit of a sabbatical from uh, from content creation, you probably have noticed. But, uh, like I said, just was not really inspired with the end of the, the standard rotations and stuff. So I was like, eh, you know what? It's all going to rotate out in a month and a half anyways. Let's just kind of go from there. Oh, this is so tempting. I want to keep this. I do. I do keep this. I don't have any play on the first one, but I'm okay with that. Because we can throw down a will, and then we can kind of go from there. All right, well, well, maybe they have a... Okay, they do have a second land this time. So, yeah, keeping a one land... Ooh, what the heck? Oh, that's interesting. All right, fun. Uh, you know what? We're going to hang on to that, and we're going to do this instead. Uh, just do that one. Four more times. Oh, okay. Interesting. So this is like a... Alright, cool. Liliana. <laughs> Happy to help, um, but I'm taking the I'm tired of your secrets. Because we can get that back. Ah, okay. Faithful mending, eh? Alright, well. Interesting. Oh! That's Sorry, no fun. I'm not interested in dying today. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's do mirror box. 
Now they might have a creature here. Mobilizer mech. Huh. Okay. Well. Takanuma. Let's Yeah, let's let's just put that down. Because we do Shaildred. And because we have a bunch of other black cards in hand, we can definitely do something with that. That is an interesting card right there. I'm going to say that right now. I have another Shieldred. Okay. Let's try and put this down. They'll probably counter it, but I don't care at this point. If we get two Shieldreds on the field at once, that's pretty boss. Wow. Okay. Well, I think it's going to die, but I'm kind of... Okay with that. What is he trying to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Nice. I'm going to have to sack two. Okay. Oh, I see what they do here. Maybe not. Okay. Interesting. So they lose two life. <laughs> They lose four life because they drew a card. That's fun. That dies. That's okay. Interesting. Okay. So what we might do here is... Uh, what we might do here is... Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I kind of forgot what that did. We did a whole... Gains Manas. I think we just kind of... I think we just kind of wait it out, you know? Because what they can do is... Oh, yeah, there it is. There's, there's the life gain. Uh, What we can do, actually... What can we do? Yeah. <laughs> Good game. All right, let's go to the postmortem. Because this is a really fun uh, take on mono black, so let's 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 divulge what we did and uh, uh, go from there. All right, Chitlins, here we go. So this is actually, I think, a really fun take on uh, mono black. You saw we can you know pull some <laughs> epic stuff with the mirror box and the two shieldreds on the field. I mean, just absolutely kind of a kind of a really fun deck to play around. It's got some aggro. It's got some you know, control. I mean, just really, really, really fun. Yeah, we're only playing against bronze players, but you know what? If th this channel is targeted towards those lower level, if you're just beginning type players, okay, for those of you that don't know me or, ha or have not gotten to know me through my channel, I'm a middle school teacher, so I try to educate as well as play and have fun. And if I can't have fun, then I'm not going to play, which is why I've been out for the past few months but we're back at it uh you can probably expect some videos uh you know pretty pretty widespread over the next few weeks i promise you that okay because we got a bunch of decks that we're, we're we're messing around with so uh overall i think mono black has a lot of potential uh, especially with liliana and you know even braids could do some havoc and shieldred as well so really 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 fun deck to play uh please if you liked this video leave a like leave a subscribe can we get to 70 subscribers by the end of the week? Let's see. All right. But until next time, may all your draws be godlike and may all your spells hit the board. Risen Dragon is out. It is good to be back, kids. Have a good day.